Have you ever experienced that moment in your life? You know, when nothing ever could be the same again. The meaning of time changes and now is measured as what happened before that moment and what happened after that moment. Left in a torment of not knowing if just one thing was different, just one decision was changed, it could have all been prevented. Three years ago, I was safely at home tucked up in my bed when a group of individuals set out to kill innocent people. My world was shattered when I found out that I had lost someone. Someone special. Someone who touched my soul with unconditional love and friendship. My name is Raj Babra. And nearly after three years of healing since that day, I have found the strength to share what happened. She had a lovely energy about her, which you could sense almost immediately. It was quite inherent, actually. Well, how could you describe Bernadetta? Full of life, absolutely full of life. No, 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 no. Between 1995 and 1998, I was studying for a degree in computer science at the University College of London, or UCL as it's better known. In 1997, I just finished my second year when a great opportunity came along from a company. A good friend of mine, Amrit, and I couldn't put our names forward fast enough. We began our new jobs during that beautiful summer. One day, Amrit and I made plans shortly after starting work to go out one night in the town to celebrate our good fortune. We moved around town and ended up in a nightclub in central London, where I spotted the most beautiful girl amongst the crowd on the dance floor. I walked up to her and asked her to dance. Her name was Benedetta Chacha, an Italian girl from Rome, working in Gravesend as an au pair. I prefer to call her Benny. After two weeks of dating, Benny and I shared our first kiss. The atmosphere between us was electrical, almost like we've known each other forever. One of my most vivid memories was in Trafalgar Square, lying on one of the stone benches with my head in Benny's lap. She was smiling down at me as I was staring back up. For the first time I felt love, and more importantly, I felt loved. Everything just seemed so perfect. About two months later, Benny needed to go back to Rome. By now we were a couple. She needed to decide whether to remain in Italy, as she planned before she met me, or return to the UK to be with me. Benny was the oldest of three daughters to her devoted parents, Roberto and Nella. <coughs>
Before he dies? Sí, good and then. Era un po' chiuso come carattere Benedetta. Ma come perché, timida? Eh, sì, sì, era un po' timida, timida, sì. sì. Si sì. vergognava magari ecco... Come Giulia. Come Giulia. Giulia. Ah, cioè, 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 Qui? Ma eh, lui è 26, così, no? 26? Eh sì. Vedete, 74. Qui c'era un anno, mi no? Qui mangiava il pane. Benny stayed in Italy for about 8 weeks. She then decided to return to the UK as our feelings for each other were so strong that we could not be without each other. She returned to Gravesend to the same family that she had worked for as an au pair. Can you tell us about the tree? Tell us a bit more about it. Yeah, that's the tree that we planted for Bernie. Planted it um, two years ago. It was on the a year, wasn't it? Yeah, first anniversary of the 77 bombs. Okay. So well, that was our memory. It's Bernadetta. Okay. It's the um, first time it's actually bore fruit. This year? <laughs> okay, yeah. And we refer to it as the Bernie tree. The Bernie tree. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like it. So do we, so do yeah. we, don't we? Like <laughs> when Bernie came the night that she came to the door, it was just like opening the door to her sister. Instantly part of the family. Yeah, definitely. She'd be like a child when a child says why <laughs> that was Benedetta. Why? Why? And you'd have to explain it. She was just so fun to be around. She was so lively. She was really loved by all of her friends, um, loved by the girls, loved by us. Um, she was a party animal as well. She liked going out partying. Um, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, she was very responsible, very responsible girl. Um, and she was just a pleasure to know, real pleasure to know, wasn't she? Absolutely, yeah. She was very, a very, very intelligent girl and being an au pair was, although it suited her to learn the language, she, she, she had more about her than that yeah. and she, she wanted she, a career. She yeah. could do more and make more for, of herself. Yeah, she wanted a career so she ended up going to London um, but still remained in contact with the family and everything. And, When I finished university in 1998, I applied for my first job as a graduate and coincidentally this is right where I got it, at Allgate. Benny was becoming very inspired by my IT career. She wanted to do something similar, but did not have the IT skills. I sat down with her and created her CV, making the best of her skills. Funnily enough, the recruitment agent managed to get her a job in this same company at Allgate. 